The new American Orion spacecraft is so similar to the Apollo spacecraft that one can't help but wonder how it differs from the Apollo spacecraft. And has anything changed over the past 50 years? Actually, there are a lot of differences. The main similarity that is noticeable at first glance is the shape of the crew capsule. It has really stayed the same. But the capsule still enters the atmosphere at high speed, and the conical shape and rounded bottom contribute to flatter and longer descent trajectory than, for example, the spherical shape. As for dimensions of the Apollo command module and the Orion crew capsule, they differ. The diameter of the Orion capsule is 5 meters, and the diameter of the Apollo capsule is 3.9 meters. So, the internal volume of the Orion capsule is about 30% larger than that of the Apollo. A large interior volume means more capacity. The new spacecraft can carry four astronauts into space, not three like the Apollo. There are also a toilet and a small simulator inside the Orion, which the Apollo didn't have. In addition to the same shape, both capsules have heat shields made of an almost identical composition known as AV cord, which is a special honeycomb shaped epoxy novelac resin. However, the production of such a heat shield is now more cost effective. Otherwise, comparing the Orion and Apollo spacecraft is like comparing a Ford Model T and a Ferrari. Orion is assembled from a multitude of 3D printed components that couldn't have been made even a few years ago. And yet Orion is fully autonomous spacecraft. It can do just fine without the help of a ground-based mission control team and is even, according to the developers, capable of going to Mars. The Apollo spacecraft was not capable of this. The autopilot used in the Apollo spacecraft was limited by 1960s technology. NASA claims that the Orion is 200,000 times more powerful in its computing characteristics than Apollo. Both Apollo and Orion have service modules to provide power, air and water to the spacecraft as well as to take it to the moon. But unlike the Apollo service module, the Orion service module uses solar panels rather than fuel cells to generate power. It produces more power than the Apollo service module, but has some operational limitations on launch windows. In addition, the Orion spacecraft is safer than the Apollo because of its use of a more advanced launch abort system, which must react within a few milliseconds in the event of a rocket launch emergency and quickly move the capsule with the crew to safety. The Apollo spacecraft were designed specifically to fly to the moon, but in the early 1970s they were used to transport astronauts to NASA's first space station, Skylab. And the last Apollo spacecraft flew in 1975 as part of the Apollo Soyuz project, during which NASA astronauts and Soviet cosmonauts docked their spacecraft and shook hands in orbit. The Apollo spacecraft went down in history. But the history of the Orion spacecraft is just beginning. NASA's space launch system is set to take the Orion spacecraft into space and set it to the moon.